uh, uh, what about the hardware we have in our infrastructure or in HPC cluster? Uh, we have a lot of different hardware, so you need to know about this hardware because it's very important in the beginning of your uh, access to this kind of uh, hardware. Second one, we we are talking about. Uh, okay, sorry, could you use your laser? Oh yeah. I don't see the laser. If you here. if you click if you click in 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 your presentation on the left hand side. Uh, you will see it, Let me... but in the presentation, not in Meet. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, not, not there. You have to put to be in presentation mode. Okay, I am presentation mode. Mode. I don't see. There, there. Ah. You, you go. Yes, there. So activate the puntero laser. Here. Okay. Okay. So the second one is about Slurm. Slurm is a queue system. Uh, that we use in our supercomputer. Uh, this queue system uh, is a very important thing in our supercomputer because we have hundreds of users using the supercomputer at the same time. So we don't have enough uh, resource for all users, uh, obviously. So we need to use this kind of uh, tool. So we are seeing about parameters, uh, about SLARM, uh, how to in uh, queue uh, or jobs or simulation, how to use uh, a few commands that you need to use uh, a cluster, and what about monitoring uh, your jobs in the infrastructure. Another thing is about software, because uh, we have a, a big hardware uh, structure, uh, so we need to see Another thing that is very important, and that is about software. Uh, we need to see what software we need. We have uh, for you in, in our cluster, how to install or build a new uh, software, and how to use this software in the supercomputer. Uh, we are seeing about uh, scaling. I don't know if you know the, the, about the scaling or scaling software. That is about how my software is scaling uh, using a different type of resource. And finally, we have a lot of uh, exercise. So we are seeing exercise. Uh, that is because we, we create a username and password for all of, all of you. So I don't know if you are OK with your username right now. Uh, but uh, Esteban is writing to you about usernames. Uh, so, what about the methodology? Uh, this presentation is so uh, is very dynamic. So you can ask or you can uh, uh, put your hand or whatever you want. Uh, so you can ask uh, any question. Uh, we are doing the exercise. Uh, in the middle of the presentation. Uh, probably user with experience in Linux uh, is better, but uh, I think in the first class, you see some comments on how to use Linux, uh, like uh, how to use BI, Nano, or something else. And a few comments, I think. So the first one uh, you need to, to know is about how to access to the cluster. So if you read the email in your uh, account, you can see you have an, an, an email or a, a username and a password. So with, this, with that uh, information, you can uh, connect to the uh, supercomputer. I show you my terminal. I think everybody can see my terminal. So I'm working right now in Mac OS. Uh, if you work in Linux, probably you have the terminal in your computer installed. In Windows, uh, you can use uh, PuTTY. It's a, a little size uh, program. And I think you can use the terminal with uh, Windows too. I don't know the name, but you can use the terminal. So in Mac OS or whatever uh, operating system you have, 
you need to put this command. SSH. Ye yesterday they saw how to connect to a terminal. Ah, nice. Yes. So the command is SSH, your username, in my case is Eguerra, at extraru.mlhpc.cl. Uh, yeah, enter and I put my password. And this is the first screen that you are seeing in your account. Can you confirm me, uh, confirm to me if you are connected right now to the cluster? Yes. Yes, I'm connected. Okay. So we are right. good. Could you raise your hands uh, if you are not connected? Carolina Sartor. Can you say what problem you have, Carolina and Carlos Enrique? I think that they lowered their... I'm oh, sorry, I don't have, I don't have step, any problems. Ah, oh, okay. I haven't received the email yet. Oh, Esteban, can you send an, an account to Carolina? Yeah, I will check it. I will check. Okay, I will thank check you. The uh, Caroline, if you can send me your email, please. I will send Renato, the message. Meeting. Renato, are you in the meeting? Hey, Professor. Okay, because uh, please uh, make sure that Eugenio has all the list of the people with the emails because I, I cannot find it in the drive. Okay, thank you. Okay, this is a diagram that how we are working with the cluster. So we are here, we are the user. Uh, the only thing you need is a computer and obviously internet. You don't need a big laptop, uh, uh, a big power laptop uh, because we are using only SSH and a terminal. So we are connecting to these four uh, login nodes. Uh, that is, uh, these are the only nodes that are being in internet. So you can connect only to this. So when you uh, write uh, leftraru.nlhpc.cl, you are connecting here. This node uh, is for connecting, obviously, uh, for copy your data, for create your jobs, uh, your simulation, for copy database, etc. Uh, between these uh, login nodes and the compute nodes, we have a slam. I don't know if you remember, but I say that slam is our queue system, and it's a very important uh, tool in our, in our supercomputer. So here is a slam. So we are sending our jobs from here. Slam is a, a processing this job, a processing the resource, processing what software you need, what are you doing, etc. And uh, finally, a compute node here are processing your jobs. So that is a, a basic diagram about uh, the supercomputer. Uh, the final thing the, about this diagram is about the storage. All these nodes have a, a network storage. So you are uh, seeing your file here, here, and here. What about the hardware? Uh, I told you uh, before that uh, knowing the, the hardware in the supercomputer is a very important thing because uh, probably we are uh, sending jobs with only memory uh, resource, or probably we are sending uh, jobs with a CPU, CPU resource, etc. So we need to know about the hardware. Here, this is the, the first uh, hardware that we have, is a login node. Uh, we have only four nodes of this. Uh, this node have 64 gigabyte RAM. Uh, this is only for connecting or only for uh, installing software or for copy data, etc. Uh, you can only send job here for maximum uh, three minutes 
the other kind of uh, hardware that we have is uh, Slim, uh, Slim nodes. Uh, we have uh, 132 uh, nodes with this. Uh, these nodes have a 88 uh, gigabyte of memory RAM. And this is the partition uh, for default. So we, we are seeing right now that we are using a partition, uh, the concept partition. Probably you know the concept partition in your computer with the hard drive. But this uh, kind of, uh, uh, this concept is different because uh, a partition is a kind of uh, hardware. So we have the partition uh, slims that we have 132 net nodes with this kind of spe specification. The other kind of uh, partition is we are named general, uh, general nodes. Uh, we have uh, 48 uh, nodes. Uh, Every, uh, each of these uh, servers have uh, 192 gigabytes of RAM. And the, this one uh, probably is the most used by, by Informatic because they have a, a lot of memory. If you see, we have uh, 678 gigabytes of RAM. So that is a lot. Uh, uh, we are working with Dante. Uh, like five or, or ten years with this supercomputer, and they are using this kind of, uh, of node because the, the memory RAM. And uh, for uh, finally, we have this kind of node. It's a GPU no GPU node. I don't know if you know about GPU. Uh, this kind of job is very special because uh, probably is used uh, uh, only for a kind of jobs that. Uh, are knowing like uh, artificial intelligence. I don't know if you are watching about uh, intelligent artificial uh, or uh, deep learning probably, uh, training in deep learning. So this kind of job, we have only two, but it's only for that uh, kind of uh, jobs. So he, here we, we have all the cluster that we have in the, in the supercomputer. Ah, I use a laptop with GPU nano scanning. Yeah, so we have uh, that th this resource. Uh, we are connecting all the the nodes in our supercomputer with the InfiniBand network. That is a very specific uh, network. Uh, probably you don't see this kind of network in your computer or your desktop computer. It's only for cluster. Uh, we have uh, right now uh, four petabytes of uh, storage. Uh, and okay, we are starting right now with SLAM, the or resource manager or Q system. Uh, all the, the hardware that we have is uh, managed uh, with this uh, kind of resource manager with SLAM. So we can put all your jobs in the Q system, and this uh, SLAM, uh, they are doing all the jobs for uh, make this uh, job starting or probably this job waiting uh, for resource to free, etc. Uh, one of the best thing of about using a queue system is you can uh, run your your work uh, for thirty days, so that is a very uh, enough time I think for all the jobs. If you need a job with uh, more than uh, 30 days, probably you need to use a checkpoint. Probably uh, uh, some of you know the concept of checkpoint, but checkpoint is like uh, save your results in the, in, in the day 30, for example, and probably you can resume your job uh, in that uh, place. So you are not losing all the execution. So it's very important to, to read about checkpoint. Uh, probably if you are using Python or whatever uh, software you need, uh, all these software have a uh, implementation of checkpoints. So you need to you, to, you, to see the, the readme or the manual, etc. So we are seeing right now a few commands that we need to know for uh, work with the cluster. So the first command is the command sinfo. Uh, 
uh, with this command, with this command, you can uh, see the state of the partition. Uh, I can show you right now. Let me clean. So the command is s info. You have these results. So uh, what are we seeing? We are seeing uh, what resources are free because probably uh, we need to uh, run our execution or, or simulation uh, in a few times, and we are seeing how or what is the resource that are free. So if you are seeing this, you can uh, see this uh, state mix. This state is not a, a free resource. It's probably we have the, this kind of resource, with uh, 20 cores, but only 10 cores are using are used right now. So you have 10 cores for using for your jobs. Uh, the free resource state is evil. You can see here. So you can see that SN uh, 20, 31, 38, 48 are free, are totally free. In the opposite, we have uh, the state alloc or allocation. So all this node in this moment is 100% user. So we can use this uh, resource right now. And we have uh, another uh, state uh, down. And obviously, this node is not working right now. So this is the first uh, command that you need. The second command that you need is srun. Uh, so we are uh, right now sending our jobs to the cluster. So with the SRAM, we can send jobs the, uh, interactive. Uh, so we are seeing the results immediately in the, the command line. So an example, I can uh, send this command, SRAM, host name. So uh, I, can show, I, can, I can see uh, immediately the results in the, in the console on the terminal. Uh, in the beginning of, of working with a supercomputer, this kind of uh, or th this command is probably very uh, use, uh, uh, useful because we are knowing about supercomputer, we are doing some tests, etc. But when you are working uh, finally with your uh, simulation, probably you can use this command, sbatch. What is the difference between srun and sbatch? As much uh, you are uh, sending your job to the queue system, so you you don't need to watch the terminal all the time. Uh, for example, your job is about three days. You don't you don't need to see the three days in the terminal. That is not a very uh, recommended uh, situation. So you are sending your job to the queue system. Uh, you have an email in your uh, account that a uh, queue system is tell you about when is starting your job and when is finished your job. So you can uh, go to whatever you want. May, uh, you can uh, watch your email and you can see all this information. Ah, Nicola uh, Restrepo, uh, terminal is a synonym of SSH. Uh, actually, SSH is a protocol. We are using terminal with uh, the SSH protocol, but it's uh, it's not the same, really. Paulo Silva? Hi, just Hi. Okay. Sorry, I just have a question. Uh, yeah. Is this command, is this command, um, um, I can use this command for every servidor, it's just a basketball command in Unix, or just for this concept? Uh, I can say that uh, already, uh, I think 9% nine, nine, nine of the cluster in the world have Unix. I think 99 probably. So uh, this kind of, of, of software, of terminal, you can, you can use in all supercomputers in the world. So I don't know if that uh, is okay with the, okay? Okay, okay, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Uh, so we have the, this command as much. So for this command, we need a JavaScript. What is a JavaScript? A JavaScript is a kind of file that you are put all the, the thing that you need to uh, execute. 
for example, uh, what software um, I'm using, uh, how many resources we need to uh, a, a, a simulation, sorry. Uh, what about the results? Uh, obviously, your email for get uh, the notification and etc. I can show you here. An example. Oh, sorry. Oh, this is an example of uh, a script. It's a batch script. Uh, uh, it's not necessary that you know all these parameters uh, because we have an, a tool, uh, a very uh, practice tool, actually, for making this kind of a script. I can show you right now. So you can go to wiki.mlhpc.cl. Sorry, it's not working. Let me. It's too small, Eugenio. We cannot see very well. Right now? OK, it's now. Again. Yeah. So here in, in the in our wiki, we have a, a script generator. Uh, so you can uh, get this kind of script. Uh, this formulary is asking about uh, how, uh, what partition are using. Uh, what about your email, uh, the name of the job. Uh, you have the resource that you need. Uh, you have the number uh, of uh, jobs, the memory that uh, you, are you using, uh, the time of the execution. You can put this time or not. And here you have the toolchain of the or uh, software. So you can search here. For example, I can put Python. And you have all the, uh, the software about Python. So you have this all like this kind of software. So if you complete this, we're seeing that we have here the script. So you, you can only uh, copy this script. I can show you. And for example, I think you, you, are, you know how to use uh, a common editor. So I can show you bin testvio.sh and I ca can test here our script. So you have here. The script is a, a default script. You can change this script with whatever you want. Uh, you have in this first part uh, all about the resource. Uh, in this part, you have about the software. Uh, are we using this software? And the last part is about the command that you are using. For example, if I uh, execute something with Python, I can put this. Python test.pl. This is a, a, a script. So we have this script. Let me pause here. Oh. Let me put you this in here. So I told you about the command s batch, and I need a, a JavaScript. So the, the last part is uh, sending our job. So I have the, the script and I can put this command. S batch, S bio, SCS. So the cluster is sending me this. Submitted batch job, uh, you have the, the number ID of, the, of your job. And you could, can put, oh, sorry. This is because probably the job is uh, finished in one second, or probably. So the next one or the next command is about SQ. With SQ, you can uh, see all your jobs uh, running in the computer, on the supercomputer. So if you see this, I send you, I, I send to the computer this uh, job, and with the command SQ, I see this. So how interpret this? 
the job ID probably is a very important thing because uh, with this number we can see all about the jobs, uh, all about the resource, the use in the resource, etc. Uh, the second one is uh, in what partition we are sending our jobs. So if you remember, uh, general uh, have a hardware. Uh, we have uh, 48 uh, nodes with 44 uh, core each one. Uh, the second, the, the next one is about the name of the job, the username, my username, obviously, the state of the of the job. R is about running, the time that is running the job. In this in this uh, case, is only one second. Uh, the number of, of nodes, uh, only one node. And probably one of the most important uh, thing here is about the job. Only, sorry, the note. So this uh, job is working right now in this job, the SN38. Uh, so why do you remember this, this uh, note? Because we can uh, enter to this uh, note and we can see our uh, uh, work, uh, or, 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 sorry, we can see or monitoring or job. Uh, for example, I can show you. We can see that uh, our job is using all the core, or probably how many memory is using, how much memory, etc. So that is important. Uh, probably I received an email. I can show you here. Because I put the script my email so if I see my email oh I don't receive any email at the moment but you are receiving an email when the the job is starting and obviously when is a stop or is a stop running Okay, so, ah, and the last one common, uh, the, the last common is S cancel. So uh, this kind of common is not that, uh, not easy to use it too much because this common is only for cancel a job. Probably you, you make a mistake, uh, you send a job that uh, have the incorrect uh, input or probably you put a wrong parameter, etc. So you can use S cancel with your uh, job ID and you can cancel the job. Why we need to cancel the job? This is probably because uh, if we, we have a, a, a job running in the computer, in the supercomputer, uh, we are using resource. So probably other user need this resource and we are uh, running this job with no resource probably. So that, that is because it's important. Okay, so here we have uh, some uh, parameters from Slam. The first one uh, is about the name. You can use whatever you want for your job. Probably it's good to use uh, a name that is uh, knowing for you. Uh, probably if we are sending 10 jobs, uh, don't use the same job, obviously. Uh, the second parameter is about uh, uh, the partition. If you remember, I can come back to the slide, we have all this partition. So if I need a, sorry, if I need a 48 gigabyte of RAM, probably I am using the partition slim, but if I, we need more a gigabyte of memory RAM, we can use partition general that we have 192 gigabyte of RAM of, uh, or if, if we need uh, more uh, gigabytes, we can use large man, the, the partition large man. So we need to choose uh, the partition. Uh, uh, if we need uh, more resource or less, re less resource. Uh, other parameters is about uh, the, the end, is about the works or the, the task that we are sending to the jobs. Yeah, 
Tony Casuso. Uh, uh, how do you know how many resource, how much resource you need for, for this? Okay, that's a very good uh, question. We have a slide uh, here about the uh, scaling or computation, computational e efficiency, because we need to know how the resources are used are used with or uh, simulation. So uh, later we are seeing uh, more about that, but. The first place that we need to use for know how resource to, to reserve is reading the documentation of the software. Because some uh, software are saying, uh, if you're using of TV uh, to uh, simulate 10 atoms, you need to use like 10 gigabyte per atoms, uh, like one core per atom, etc. So probably the first one is the documentation. And the second one is about the scaling. Creo que se congeló y se desconectó. Vamos a esperar un momento que se reconecte. Sí. Oops, sorry. Do you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I have a little problem with my connection. Let me tell you. Okay. So uh, we are talking about the parameters of, of SLARM. Uh, the next one is about uh, cores, uh, how many cores you are uh, using. Uh, this is the, the core that you, you are using in your computer. Probably in your desktop computer, you have like eight or 12 uh, cores. In, in our case, we have uh, one kind of job with 20 cores, and the other one, we have uh, 44 cores. So we, we, uh, you need to put here how many cores you need to, to use. Uh, the next parameter is probably uh, for uh, an advanced kind of job. Uh, I don't know if you know the concept MPI or OpenMP. Uh, this is ca a kind of uh, advanced uh, HPC concept. Uh, and it's a very important concept because we can use uh, for one job, for example, all the, the cluster. So we have an example. For example, uh, uh, we have a job that uh, the running time is about, I don't know, uh, one month in my computer, in my desktop computer. Probably if I can use all the supercomputer, I can uh, finish this job in about one hour. So obviously, this concept of MPI is for advanced uh, kind of software. So you can use uh, a lot of uh, results. So what do you need to know about this is, the first one is about the software. Is this software with, uh, is uh, developed with OpenMPI or with MPI? Is a parallel program, uh, et cetera. So this is a, a most advanced, uh, advanced uh, concept. The next parameter is about uh, the output file. Uh, Nelly Pacheco. Yes, about that, um, it's the same, like parallel, that, what you say, by open? MPI, MPI. MPI, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, it is, it's like the same because a parallel job is using a resource a, or executing a job in many resources. So you have an implementation that is called MPI. So MPI is an implementation of parallel programming. Oh, okay, yeah. thank you. 
Okay. So the next one is about the output files. Uh, probably when we are working with supercomputer, we have a uh, results. We have an output file. So if I can come back to my terminal and let me see you here. I need to connect again. Teacher, can you can you increase the, the size of the? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. No? So if you remember, I, I sent a job uh, before. Uh, this is my my first job here. So I have this kind of uh, output. So the the first one and most important for, probably for you is the output file. So we have we have here probably all the results. In this case, we have zero results because I, I have an error in the script. So the second uh, output is about the error. And I can show you the error. In here is the error. So uh, they say, can open file test PI. So if you remember, I put. put python test.pi so uh, i think uh, test.pi doesn't exist in my account so that is the the error here so that is uh, you can use this all of the output files and last one is about the email so i i, I repeat about the email because uh, you don't watch uh, all the time the the terminal in your execution you are seeing like probably a few minutes uh, your uh, terminal but if your execution is like two days one month uh, i don't know is there are people that are watching all the time the terminal so here here uh, here we have a, a kind of a diagram about parallel program uh, Probably in the next slide, uh, you are seeing most, most about this. But you can uh, here you can uh, you can have memory uh, or charted memory with all the CPU. This is more uh, most the same of uh, you have in your desktop computer. So you have uh, uh, only one memory, and I don't know how many CPUs, but probably eight or twelve CPU in your computer. In here, in the supercomputer, we have this one for many times. So we have CPU memory, CPU memory. So we have, like, uh, right now, like 200 of computers working in the same time at the same time. So that is the difference. You can put this uh, job in every of these nodes. And obviously, you have uh, the results in, I don't know how, how many, how much time, because uh, they are probably about uh, the software or your input, but this kind of, of uh, compute, uh, compute of this kind of compute, this is better for, for all the, the execution. So uh, we are right now in the first exercise. Uh, you all have this presentation in the, in the, what is the name of this is classroom, in the classroom or you have this presentation. So the first exercise is about uh, all uh, that we are uh, talking about. So it's execute uh, some commands uh, using the command S run with only one process, with two process, uh, uh, with course, uh, that is another uh, kind of, uh, of resource. Uh, we have a, a few questions about, uh, and that is all. So I think I all have the, the accounts working right now, or there are someone that don't have, don't, don't have a username or password. Can you confirm me, confirm to me if you have accounts? If you have accounts? Ah, okay. So in the chat, you have a link with the exercise. 
that you can uh, uh, see the exercise and probably uh, you have the solution to what we are seeing here how to resolve this uh, uh, exercise number one so probably uh, we can have like 10 minutes uh, to resolve the exercise uh, you can ask whatever you want here and that's all so you can use uh, you can raise your hand you can write in the chat or you can open your microphone yes um, i want to say that there is a couple of users accounts already uh, ready to use it so if some one of you requires an, a new username and a new password just let me know uh, please write down your email in the chat and I will send you the emails and your credentials. Okay, so probably the field exercise, we can we can do it uh, together. Uh, and the second one you can, you can do uh, for your own. So the first exercise uh, is, the first one is about sending a SRAN with only one process. So remember, that is here. Remember, we are using the command S1 in the first exercise. So this one with only one process. When I say in process, we are using N and this. Sorry. So the field exercise is S1 uh, N1 hostname, and we are seeing these results. So uh, when I when I told you about a process, we are using n or a, the task n task. So we are, we are saying we are uh, executing one process with the name hostname. Hostname is a command in Unix or, or, or in Linux that we are seeing the name of the host. So probably when you are doing your simulation, you are not, you are not using hostname. Probably you are doing this or can I please so uh, here we are we are sending uh, only one process to the job to the supercomputer uh, and we are executing this program so the, the important thing is here any question Luis See, Luis, I, I think you have microphone off or are you muted? Are you muted? Yes, uh, sorry, uh, I have yeah. something here. Uh, yeah, one, one question is when, uh, in this example here, uh, is possible that you call Python without like loading uh, this, this like uh, language? Yeah, yeah, that that is a very good question because uh, uh, I told you before that we have a lot of uh, software installing in the in the cluster, so we need to load in this uh, kind of software. But in the case of Python, uh, in all Unix or base Unix, you have Python installed already. So if if I see Python version, I already have Python installed. I don't need to load the Python. Uh, in the next slide, we, uh, I, 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 I talk about Python and what is the difference that is using this kind of Python or the Python installed by, uh, by our team. I'll go ahead, thank you. Okay, Gisela? Yeah, how, how can we change the password? Uh, I don't recommend that you change your password, but you can use the command passwd. Okay. So you can put the current password and the new password. Because it's a very complicated password. That oh, have. yeah. Uh, we use that kind of uh, password because security. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is the first one. Uh, Gisela, uh, Fernanda, Fernanda. Yes. I have a question. I'm sorry. I'm not sure if the problem is here or with the, the connection. But I was connected like five minutes ago, 
but now I, I just can't connect to using SSH because the, the error is could not resolve ho host name left Traru. I think there is 30 minutes and after 30 minutes uh, yeah. the connection uh, stops and then you have to close the terminal and enter again. Uh, actually, no, because the, the 30 it minutes is, me. yeah, yeah, because the, the 30 minutes is for execution only. You can uh, stay connected with uh, in the cluster all the time you, you need. Uh, but it, it uh, throw me away as well. I have to really? Okay. Yes. Can you, can you put me yeah. the, the error in the chat? Um, uh, yes, I can, I can do that, but uh, <laughs> I tried to, I, I, I tried a lot and this they were was the same, but I tried again and it just it's working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it was this was the, the error. Oh uh, yeah. I, I had the same I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, uh, Nelly, uh, you don't have uh, access to run uh, sudo because you have only uh, a, a user a, a normal user account. Uh, so yeah. It's, uh, it's, I mean that I just like cheese. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's okay to to run this command because probably you know about SSH and the system and the Linux system. Yeah. Yeah, but I think it's working right now. So the second one is about two process uh, the, or two same process. So if you remember, the first uh, command is. Okay, I have the error here. Uh, I'll send it to you, I don't know how can I send it? You can copy and paste in the chat. Okay. If it's okay. Yes. Same happens to me, the error is port 22. Okay, can you try to connect, try to connect to leftradu.nlhpc.cl. Don't put the number on the ah, host name. Yeah. Uh, just to try, I will verify that that all the servers uh, related to the login infrastructure are working. So I will check right now. So give me a few seconds, please. I write the command in the in the in the chat, so you can see. Yeah, because uh, we have four login nodes, so it's uh, leftraru do, uh, one, two, three, and four. But if it's better to use leftraru dot and lhpc.cl. So I come back to the exercise. The second one is about two uh, same process. So it's the same command, the same command, but you can you need to change only this. So we have now two process uh, working in the in the cluster. So that is the different. So you can change this. You can put them. Uh, Anyone can say me how many is the maximum number that uh, I, I can put here? Any remember how is the number or the maximum number that we can use here? Duty. Sorry? Duty. No. Uh, re remember, we, we are we are connected right now in the login nodes. The login nodes have 20 cores each one. So I can put only 20 as max uh, 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 works. If I put this, have a, a, a different result. So uh, only we, have, we, we can put only 20. This is the maximum for this kind of job. Jacqueline Matos. Um, yeah, so this number is just for this um, supercomputer, or is just like, it's like for? No, no, it's only oh. only for this supercomputer. Yeah, uh, ah, okay, yeah, probably all the supercomputer are different in resource and hardware. So this okay. number is only for uh, this this computer. Okay, thank you. Uh, the next one is about two process or two same process uh, in different nodes. So if I need to uh, run this process in two nodes, I can put this and two. And another parameter is uh, per. 
equal one. Oh. You remember when I put only S1 and two cross name, I have the same two times. So if I put n task per node equals one, uh, we are executing this, this job, but in different nodes. So that is the difference uh, in, in what kind of, of uh, jobs we are uh, using this, probably in parallel jobs. Because remember, I have in this uh, kind of node only 20 cores, but probably uh, with my simulation, I can use like 100 uh, CPUs. So I can use five nodes. Uh, five uh, per 20 is like a, is 100. So that is uh, this kind of, of parameter we can use. Uh, it's like this. If I need to probably run 100 uh, uh, jobs or, or work, we can use this. So with this kind of commands, uh, we are using five nodes. Uh, Tiago Vieira. Yes, Eugenio. Uh, please, could you, you know, uh, come back and explain, like, quickly each step of this point number one? Because I, I took uh, some time and just, you know, putting this, oh, okay, this, sorry. Crazy, you... this crazy password, and I was kind of a bit sorry. Lost, you, so, you, sorry, so you, 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 you need can... to watch this, these slides. No, actually, about the 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 point one of the exercise, like you started ah, with, this, with this with this S one common, yeah, yeah, yeah. No yeah, yeah, no like una, una recapitulation. Yeah, no problem. Uh, so the the, the first uh, part of the exercise is uh, running an only one process. So for process, we are using uh, this parameter, n. So we are putting S run is the common. The number of process in this case is one, and finally the command. So in the exercise we uh, we are saying using the command hostname. So let's run n one hostname is this result. The two process you you can only can change the n, and you can put two. And the third one is with two process but in different nodes. So this is the this this parameter. So you, you here are using n task per node equal to one. And right now we are uh, running in two different nodes. Uh, the next one is about uh, running a process uh, with two uh, core uh, reservation. So. Eugenio, before you, before you continue, uh, I'm wondering what is the um, the difference or what is the reason to use like uh, just um, two different tasks with uh, with the same computer with the same node and when you when you use different nodes. Okay, so uh, an example is uh, I don't know. Uh, imagine that you need. Uh, to run a simulation with 100 uh, cores. Obviously, we don't have 100 cores. Uh, their job is a parallel job, so uh, they can run in multiple nodes. So uh, we can put this, have uh, 100 uh, jobs. So with this command, we can uh, run uh, with, uh, or one or hundred uh, jobs in different uh, job, uh, nodes because we don't have enough uh, resource in one and only one node. So probably I can run in only this in one node. This is only for one node. But probably if I, I need to put more resource, I need to put this in task per node. So right now we are using five nodes. Uh, 120 is five nodes. So let me show you okay. this. Let me show you this. We are running right now here. 
in, in login nodes. If you remember, we have this kind of processor. We have 20 cores in each one of these. So in only one, we have 20. If we need a uh, hundred of, of core, we don't put this uh, work uh, running here. We need to put okay, in a it. different kind of top. Yeah. Thanks so much. Okay. So uh, this one is about one process uh, with two co uh, core reservated. So we are using right now one process with two core reservated. What is the difference with this and this one? Uh, this is uh, most probably a uh, use uh, for not parallel uh, uh, program, like Python. I don't know if you know Python, probably yes, because it's a very used uh, tool or programming language. And Python is not a parallel uh, program. So uh, we can use Maxim in, in Python uh, like this. So, what is the difference that use Python in this in a desktop computer or in a cluster is probably because we have only in desktop computer like this, or probably like this, sorry, like this. So here in this computer, you can use in this partition, we can use 20 cores, or in the other partition that is general. This one. In this partition, we have a 22, uh, two, is a 44 uh, cores. We can put this uh, the same the same program, but with forty four cores. So probably if you uh, if you're running with only eight, uh, your job is running a li a, like like uh, one hour. With forty four, probably you are uh, wasting like uh, one minute or, or less. So that's the difference. You're using more resource for only one work. Uh, one thing important about this is we are, res we are, we are reservating a resource. So if I put this command, I reservate 44 uh, cores. That is not the same that using 44 cores. Uh, let me explain to you with uh, an example, probably. Uh, this kind of command, cost hostname, is not using a lot of resource. If you see. Hostname is a very simple command, but uh, they are not using a lot of uh, uh, resource. So if I put this kind of command, so I put this, uh, we are doing an underutilization resource. What we are doing that because hostname probably are using only one core, no 44. So that is a problem. Uh, it's important that uh, your software, probably Python or whatever your software are using, uh, is uh, capable to use uh, more uh, cores. Uh, Fernanda? So if you do something like that and our program doesn't use it that much of cores, they will be just empty and nobody will be able to use them for this yeah. time. Right. Yeah. Okay, so in, in this case, we are using and we are uh, doing a reservation with 44 uh, cores. And probably another user that we need, that he needs these 44 cores, they can use. And it's in idle state. So it's not a, a good uh, use of the resource. So, Carlos. Hola, Eugenio. Uh, Hola. Mi, mi inglés is not good, but yeah. uh, no uh, please, este, can you explain me in, in Spanish? Uh, you, may, you, you may speak in, 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 in Spanish, Carlos. Ok, bien. Eh, lo que estamos tratando de entender aquí es eh, ver la, la infraestructura del, eh, de la supercomputadora para poder en eh, cómo distribuir los diferentes tipos de, de nodos, de espacios, de espacios de infraestructura para poder eh, facilitar el trabajo. Exactamente. Sí, ok. Entonces, estos, estos este, comandos de isRun es para poder eh, a, eh, correr 
con el, el decirle al, no sé, a la computadora, al servidor, que voy a utilizar tal, eh, no sé, un procesador, dos procesadores, qué sé yo, de, de esa manera. Lo que vamos, vamos a entender primero es, enten, es entender la computadora, eh, el ambiente más bien de, la, de la, la computadora, para poder este, realizar posteriormente el trabajo de que queremos hacer de genómica. Exacto. Tú, se necesita saber cuál es el hardware sí. primero, para luego ver en qué tipo de hardware eh, calza nuestra simulación. Porque es como lo de que yo les, yo, yo les decía esto, por ejemplo. Si yo mi tarea solamente necesita un máximo de 48 GB de memoria RAM, ya. probablemente no voy a necesitar utilizar estos nodos que tienen 192. Ok. Sí, sí, claro. Entonces, si yo necesito más memoria RAM, obviamente sí voy a utilizar ese tipo de nodos. O, por ejemplo, si yo necesito más de 20 cores, como en este caso, estas máquinas tienen 20 cores, y si yo necesito más de 20 cores, yo voy a necesitar utilizar esta partición, que es la general. ¿Por qué voy a necesitar utilizar esta partición? Porque esta partición tiene 44 cores. Y dependiendo de la carta, tanta muestra que tengamos, por ejemplo, podremos tener, no sé, una corrida de 96 muestras y que nos arroje tantos gigabytes de de claro. resultados dinámicos y, y ahí vamos a poder utilizar tantos nodos que podríamos ejecutar. Claro, imagínate que esas 96 muestras, disculpe que esté hablando español, pero era para explicarle cuál, cómo me mejor forma lo... Imagínate que esas 96 muestras, cada muestra va a utilizar eh, tres cores. Cada muestra va a utilizar tres cores. Ok. Entonces, eso te va a dar alrededor de 270 cores que tú vas a necesitar. Por okay. razones obvias, lo, va, lo, que va, lo que va a tener que hacer es juntar nodos. Va a tener que utilizar varios nodos a la vez. Entonces, tú vas a necesitar probablemente, vendiendo la memoria RAM, vas a necesitar, imagínate, no sé, pues, eh, nueve nodos de la partición general, para que te dé el número total de, de las tareas que tú necesitas. Entonces, lo que estamos haciendo acá es tener una visión clara de cuál es el hardware que tenemos, eh, qué tipo de hardware tenemos, y luego, dada nuestra simulación, dados los recursos que nosotros necesitemos, ¿Qué partición nosotros vamos a, a seleccionar? ¿Dónde vamos a lanzar nuestras simulaciones? Entonces, por eso que hay que tener claro esta parte. Ok, de for, for, the, ver, for, the Brazilian, for the Brazilian ones, I will just explain in general terms. Uh, Carlos Enrique asked why we are seeing this, and he, he had an, a hypothesis which was correct. We are seeing this because in order to be able to use Uh, computers for genomics, you know, we need to understand how the resources are um, better used and how we can manage that. Okay, can I just compliment? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, if anyone wants to ask a question in Spanish, that's fine in Portuguese as well, right? So we have yeah. a few Brazilians here, we can translate or we can help yes. communicate with Eugenio. So, if anybody wants to ask in English yeah. or Spanish or Portuguese, we can help. Okay. Yes. Yeah. The, the most important part of this is because we don't have enough uh, resource. Uh, sadly, uh, probably in other countries like China or like USA, you can uh, found a very big uh, computers probably with enough resource. But here in South America, we don't have enough resource, so we need to. Uh, save our uh, resource and use uh, in a better way. And yeah, that's optimizing, right? So you're optimizing the yeah. results and the resources. Yeah. But even in the US or in China, I'm sure they also try to optimize the resources because they have more people working on the cluster. Yeah. So probably, they also yeah. try to do that. I think I have a question with uh, Laura. Sí, uh, en el ejemplo que puso sobre el NTAX per not, no supe la diferencia entre el que termina en igual a 1 y el que terminaba igual a 20. Ah, ok. Eh, ¿Puedo repetir este eh, ejercicio en español? Eh, a ver, lo primero. Probablemente eh, las tareas más idóneas de lanzar en un supercomputador sean tareas paralelas. Eh, quizá deberíamos detenernos unos minutos a explicar qué es lo que es una tarea paralela. Una tarea paralela consiste en que tenemos una única gran tarea que nosotros podemos subdividir en subtareas. 
Entonces, cada una de estas subtareas nosotros podemos ejecutarlas en un recurso distinto. ¿Cuál es la, la idea o cuál es, digamos, el... ¿Por qué querríamos hacer algo como esto? Porque nosotros podríamos tener los resultados mucho más rápidos, utilizando más recursos. Entonces, lo clásico que nosotros hemos visto en la computación, probablemente en nuestros computadores de escritorio, es hacer esto. Utilizar solamente un único core. Es lo que uno está acostumbrado a que esto es la programación secuencial, que se llama. Cuando nosotros pasamos a trabajar de un computador de escritorio a un supercomputador, nosotros ya estamos utilizando mucho más recursos. ¿Qué es lo que se busca? Optimizar los tiempos de resultados. Pasar, por ejemplo, como yo les comentaba, eh, eh, I speak in English here, because it's a good example. We have eh, a, a few years ago a simulation with eh, eh, about the eh, Antártida. Eh, we are seeing about the, how, met, how much eh, is the temperature eh, higher in the next 50 years. So, in the first step, eh, the people are, are working in a desk computer with not enough resource. And for 50 years, they are doing simulation for like two years. So they need to wait like two years to have all the results. So, so the simulation lasted two years. Yeah, lasted two years. So when I when when we are deciding to, or we are working with a supercomputer, probably we need to put this time two years in uh, like months because we need to write a uh, a paper or something else. Uh, so probably one two years is so many time. So we are we are using supercomputer for half the the results probably in one month. Uh, probably one week or one hour. So that is the best thing for uh, to use in uh, this kind of, uh, of computer. So I can go. So we have uh, a few questions. Uh, Fernanda. Sorry, can I ask something about parallelization? It's related to the topic. Yeah, uh, it's a, a, an advanced, top, advanced topic. Probably uh, Esteban can put a link with uh, an advanced, okay. advanced course we have. Uh, okay. I think we have a parallel computing uh, uh, course in April. But uh, parallel computer computing is using more resource. You can, uh, like I say, we can have a, a one big problem and we can uh, split this uh, big problem in a, a little problems. So we can use this, we can put this uh, little problem in one uh, core. We can put this uh, little problem in another core. So we can use all the cluster. If we're. So yeah. this is a, a, a simple idea of parallel computing. Okay, so, so here we are, here during the exercise, we are basically using one node, but different cores, right? Yeah, and probably the difference that uh, using a desktop computer is uh, we can put this, we can use 44 cores. Yeah, for because pro for most of the software, probably they they are not able to use different nodes because they are not prepared for that, right? Yeah, I, I don't know about the software that uh, you using in, in your yeah. investigation, but in, in, in our experience in the cluster, uh, I think like... 90% of the software in the scientific, scientific software is parallel software. Uh, so I don't know about the software that uh, you're using. But... Yeah, it, it's common like we can set the, the how many, how much, how many threads, how, mu how uh, much cores we are going to use. But it, it seems like we can use different nodes also, cores from different nodes, or it will be always from the same node. Yeah, uh, you can depends. use, yeah, it depends the programming. Uh, probably uh, you can use only one node is your programming and your uh, software is called OpenMP. Okay. And if your software have the, the option that is uh, MPI, you can use different kind of software. Yeah. So you, you need to uh, search MPI or OpenMP. Sure, Th thank you. Okay. I just want to say that in 15 minutes, we will have a 10 minute break. So it's half, so we better 
uh, advance a little bit, Eugenio? Okay, no problem. So we have a, a few questions. Uh, I don't know if uh, someone can ask, uh, can, can uh, read this question. Uh, the first one is in the slim partition, how many core uh, I can reserve per process? And why this is, is that number? Can anybody say something about this question? Do you know, anyone uh, know the, the answer? Is it 20? Yeah. And what is this number? Well, it's the number of the uh, processors like in this supercomputer. In this node. Remember that we have a different kind of, of nodes. Ah, nodes. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I, probably the concept node is, is a new concept for you, but node is a computer or a server. One node is equal a computer or server. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. So, mm -hmm. so for remember, we yeah, have so, uh, well, Henry, It's good to look at those initial slides, right? Yeah, so go yeah. back to your initial slides. And actually, it's, it would be good to have a schematic. Exactly. had a schematic like showing a cluster and a node and a core and a thread. Yeah. In our computer, we are, we are not using threads because a uh, thread is a concept that is not a very uh, optimized in HPC. Okay. So we are using physical uh, cores. Okay. So yeah, uh, when I talk about no, a node, uh, uh, I am talking about a server that is in the picture. So this is a computer for, our, for us is a node, a compute node. So we have in this partition, we have only four nodes. In the other partition, we have uh, 132 nodes that is in the partition slims. So just Remember. A sec, just a sec, a minute. So a partition is a part of the cluster. Exactly. And it contains several computers, several servers. Each node is a server. Each node right? is a server. Yeah. So this partition called slim has 132 computers, servers. Yeah. In, nodes. It, yeah. And each one of these. Uh, have uh, 20 cores and 88 uh, gigabyte of RAM in this partition only. Yeah, let's stay with the hardware with, before the RAM. So each for each uh, uh, CPU or each uh, node yeah. has two CPUs inside and each CPU has 10 cores. 10 cores, yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's like a... several layers, right? So that's why it's hard, I think, for the students to follow. So you have 132 servers each server has two CPUs, each CPU has 10 cores, right? That's why we have 20 cores per yeah. node. Yeah, we, we, and what would be the cluster like the? It's the whole thing. It's all the partitions together is the cluster. This is the cluster. Um, you have, uh, this is a rack. So we have uh, all the server here. So all this is a, a, a cluster. Why is the name of cluster? Because all this uh, server is working together all these servers are connected and working together. So you can put uh, a job working in all the cluster. Only one working in all the cluster. Yes, Senia? Great, thank you. Yes, so we are using 20 nodes because that's the less minimum to optimize the resources. Uh, I think that depends on the job, right? That depends on what you want to run. That was just his example. In this case, we haven't called a, a slim, or witches are using all the cluster, and that's why we're using 20. Uh, per, per, per default, we are using a slims, a, B, a slim, because a, we don't put any parameter. If you see this, we are using, a, sorry. We are using the, the partition as slim. If we, if we need to, to use another partition, we need to put this. the name of the other partition. So we can use other partition and you can see that the name of the node is changing. Uh, the, the other one is CM and now is SM. So if we see this, we can see that general have the names SM. So that is uh, another kind of a partition. Uh, we have only 48 uh, nodes uh, in, the, in the general partition. And the difference is we have 24, so, sorry, uh, 44 uh, cores in, in each uh, server. So it's the double of the slim uh, nodes. 
So probably uh, we can use this kind of partition in a very advanced uh, simulation. But for, for most of the user, they can use this slim in, and it's, it's enough for all the simulations. Uh, the other one have the same uh, number of uh, cores. So you have here 44 uh, cores, and the GPU you have uh, exactly the 44 uh, cores. The, the difference here and here is the memory RAM. So you can uh, uh, found here a big enough uh, memory. So I think uh, most of the simulation that we, we are uh, using here is about a, a sequenciation, I think. Probably sequenciation have a, a, a big memory uh, requirement, I think. Yeah, so when we have whole sequencing. genomes, sequencing. Right, whole, whole genome, yeah, sequencing, we, we require quite a bit of RAM to yeah. run assembly, right, assembly of whole genomes or comparing whole genomes. So that requires a lot of memory. A lot of memory, yeah. So probably this kind of job is not uh, enough memory. So you need to use here, all of this, this kind of, of nodes. Yeah, there were some programs, some assemblers that required over a terabyte of, of RAM, 1.5, 2 terabytes. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, probably this kind of job you can uh, split or you can use, uh, for example, three of these nodes at the same right. time. So you can only, uh, you, you can uh, add more, more memory to your uh, uh, simulation. So or, each node has that much RAM. Each, each node has 772 gigs. Yeah, each one. Okay. It's a lot of RAM. It's a lot, but for, exa yeah. for example, uh, Dante always needs more. <laughs> yeah, so we always so, like a lot of RAM, but this one has plenty. Yeah. Good. I think we are in time for the break. Yes, we yeah. uh, have... Uh, it should be good now, or if you prefer, you have mo five more minutes. Uh, I can... Uh, answer the question of Luis, and maybe we can go to the break. Wait. Okay. Thank you, Kenya. Uh, yeah, yeah. My question is more related about, um, you know, if, if we have like available, uh, oh, sorry, some like um, 192 gigabyte of RAM for uh, for this node, um, is all like all of this amount is available for just uh, one person, or is like many people are using a different uh, amount of RAM? No. Yeah, they, that, that depends on the use of the of the node. Remember that we are seeing the first command that is as info. So if we see here in the as info, uh, the node with 192 gigabyte RAMs is this the general partition. So yeah, yeah. Uh, this one uh, with the state evil have uh, has the 192 gigabyte free. But this one that is in a mixed state, probably they have, they are using a, a, a person of the memory. They don't have all the memory free. So that is the difference. Uh, probably when, when we, we are sending a job, uh, if we are, we are, we are reservation, reservation all the nodes, probably we have all the memory for all, all our job. Oh yeah. Okay. So if I want to run like uh, any software, I, I have to specify how many cores I want to use, but also how many memory of RAM. Yeah. The, in the next uh, slide, we are seeing about memory, but this is uh, an example. There is a question from Neri Pacheco. Yeah. So with this example, I can reserve all the nodes with all the memory, the 192 gigabytes of memory RAM, or only for me. Got it, got it. Okay, yeah, that's okay. it. Thank you. And the last one is, is Nelly, I think? I don't know. Yeah, it's just about if you have like a ticket system, but I... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. we, have a, we have a ticket system for all the uh, requirements of your, of, of your user. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Okay, no okay. problem. So I, th I think we have 10 minutes for a break. Yes, oh. we have 10 minutes for a break and 
uh, I will stop the recording now, and in 10 minutes we reconvene here. Okay, no problem. Uh, just to stay in the meet, close your microphones and cameras, and then we, we will uh, get immediately together. Okay, 10 minutes precise. Okay, thank you. So we, we are talking about this, the, a few questions about the, the free exercise. Uh, probably we, we can continue to the second exercise, uh, but we are talking about uh, an, uh, working with the cluster, but now with a, a script. So the, in the free exercise, we only use a command. We use the s run command, but it's only for uh, show you how to use the resource, how to send a, a a few basic uh, jobs to the cluster, but this is the way that we are using the supercomputer. We are using always a script. So you can see here an example of a, a script. Uh, you can see all the parameters that I, I told you uh, before. And you have here the, the way that you can send the, the job to the cluster with the command s batch and the name test uh, or the name of the, the script in this case. So the second exercise, oh, sorry, uh, we have uh, here uh, a useful uh, command, probably. Uh, it's, it's about uh, showing more information about a uh, job, but uh, we are seeing this uh, in a few slides. Uh, the exercise two, uh, this one is, uh, we need to create uh, a script. So right now we can use the generator, the script generator, or you can write your own script with the command line editor, like Beam or Nano or whatever you want. And you need to run the, the script in the slim partition. Uh, you need to uh, do a reservation of only one core, and you need to run, run this command, stress uh, C1. I don't know if you, the, the common stress is like simulating a use of the resource. So here we are uh, doing a, a utilization of the resource that we are reservated. So we have a few questions too uh, about the execution, about the, uh, what about the, the resource that we are using and how, how I, I can cancel my, my work and what about the state of the partition or, or the cluster? So uh, probably we have yeah like five minutes uh, for doing this exercise. Uh, anyone can can say me how to you to do the, the this exercise or how to do this uh, this first script. So just if you recall the web page to access uh, the... Um, yeah, uh, the one, I don't know, you can put the you know, generator script. The, gener the script generator, the yeah. 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 So that is the link, and I can show you here. Let me a second. Okay, so we are in, in the link. We are going to a script generator. And let me show you the exercise. So uh, we are using the slim partition. We receive only one core, and that is the, the, the command. So we put here, the first one is the slim partition. Uh, what about the... the is a, a parallel programming or etc. If we don't know, we can put uh, I don't know or no say here. Uh, uh, we need to put uh, our email, uh, the name of the job. I put CO2. So here we have the resource. So we need only one core. So remember, the first one is about the, the, the jobs or the numbers of the, the works. So in this case, we have only one. 
the memory uh, uh, for the font is, is not a, a problem here. Uh, the numbers of the uh, task uh, per job here is only one. And here we have the only one core. So the uh, CPU uh, for tasks, we have only one. Uh, the next one, uh, the next part is about uh, the modules or the software. Uh, we have a software called uh, Stress, so we are putting here the command. Oh, sorry. So the command is Stress minus C. C. So this is the command Stress, stress uh, minus C1. So this is a, a, a test a program that is simulating use of one core. So we have here the script. We can copy this script. And the next one is uh, in the terminal. Uh, you can use uh, any uh, terminal uh, editor. Uh, I recommend to you if you are uh, if you are beginning with the terminal that you can use uh, always a uh, nano because nano is uh, more easily for beginning user of Linux. And the name of the script, ejercicio2.sh. And, oh, sorry, I can. Oh, it's, 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 it's fine. So we have uh, the exercise. Uh, Remember, a slim partition, only one core, and the command, partition slim, uh, minus p, uh, slims, uh, only one core, minus c, one, only one core, and the other thing is uh, default, and finally here we have the, the command, stress uh, minus c, one. So I can save this file, and the next part is, uh, sending this job to the, the queue system. So I can show you here with the command sbatch, exercise two. Remember the command sq, I can see the, the running job. Uh, it's running already. We have here the, the node, so we can, we can see the, the process here. So what is the question? Uh, how much time is the the execution is being uh, working? Uh, you can ask this question. You you know uh, what is the how many time? Uh, I don't know if you remember, but in a slide I say I say to you. We, we can give the 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 script any name. Sorry. We can give any name to the script. Any name. You can use any name. So remember, uh, you can uh, run your work or uh, your jobs uh, for a maximum of uh, 30 days. So one special thing about stress, or in this case, is probably uh, this case is uh, it's not finished uh, uh, never. Because stress, the, the only thing that uh, stress is doing is simulate uh, the use of resource. I can show you, I can connect to the node. For connecting to the node and uh, monitoring the, the, the job, I can connect to this job. Just ask me to the password. And with the command h, h top. Uh, see, Fernanda? So if my job is running in the terminated node as, as that one is, that is running your execution. I can. I have access to to that node. I can enter in and and see. Yeah, you, you can only enter in in a node that you have a job running. You can uh, enter nice. in another node. Yeah, cool. Thank so, you. Right, so right now I am in the in the node and the CN O uh, seven six. So I can uh, use the command H top. Uh, it's a command for monitoring the use of process. So I can show you. I can filter with my username. And if you see here, you can see that is the common stress and are using the 100% of the one CPU. 
so here in the H top you can you can see all the course of a node you can see the 20 course uh, there are a few uh, cores uh, using in 100 percent I don't know what user is here but I can yeah uh, there are you student uh, 40 so you can you can see that ISA is in a hundred percent of use uh, so, it told me permission denied uh to, to access to the node well to to do the s run uh, remember it's not the command s run you need to uh, for for an script you need to use s batch ah okay yeah probably here we, we are not using s run anymore uh, we are we can only use s batch because we are sending the uh, the job to the queue system okay okay yes yeah so remember, uh, the job is running. Uh, this job is not stopping uh, never. So we need to cancel this job. So if you remember the slide, we can use the command s cancel, and you can put the job ID. Uh, we can wait uh, a few seconds. If now we I can put sq again, and yeah, now it's not uh, running. Uh, the job. Antonella seems to have a question. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yes, hi. Um, could you show the, um, the job info? The, the S info? Or yeah, yeah. The, the dot sh. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, you mean about. Uh, yeah, I, I, I need to send a job. <laughs> so probably this. But remember, yes. no, 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 I but I mean, no? can I see the what what's written in it to, to see if I, I have it right? Ah, yeah, uh, you need about the command h top. No, 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 no I, I, I mean, understand. sorry, to see what's what's in the the exercise, the yes, in the script. Ah, yeah, sorry. Yes, yeah, yeah. but remember the, 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 the exercise okay. uh, only uh, ask for three things. The first one is the partition. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, minus p, uh, the name of part of partition slims. The mm -hmm. second one is about uh, how many core. Uh, the exercise say only one, so minus c one. And the last one, uh, we need to run this command. Yeah, I just wanted to check if the memory per CPU was oh, like, yeah. Yeah. What, what's the I, fault and everything. Yeah, I, I, I can tell you about the memory because in this exercise we are not using memory, uh, okay. only CPU. But in the next slide, I, we are using uh, memory. That is a, a good example. Mm -hmm. Jacqueline? Uh, yeah, so I have a question. Um, so the parameters here in the script the S batch and then the parameters, they are not comments, right? Because we usually yeah. use the, the hash. The hash with, uh, yeah, like the XA command. Yeah. I don't get it. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Uh, probably <laughs> if you are the uh, uh, programming in another language or something else, uh, you can say, but this hash is for a comment. In this case, uh, Slam uh, interpret this hash like a, a parameter. So if mm. you need to put this like a command, you need to put uh, two uh, hatch. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Okay, in this case, this is a command. Okay. Uh, let me exit here. So remember, I send the job again, so I need to cancel this job. Uh, everybody uh, can. Uh, Enter to the node and run the h top node uh, or, or the h top command because that is important. Uh, let me tell you again that part. Remember, you can enter only in the node that you have a, a, a job working, and you can put or you can uh, write h top command, and you can filter with the command uh, u. You can see your user here because 
And sometimes uh, we have, uh, right in this case, we have a, a lot of users in the same node working uh, work. So I can filter only my user, and I can see the stress command here. So this is a good, a good example of a good utilization of resource. Why? Because the, the stress is using 100% uh, of the CPU. I, another example of the uh, a bad ex, uh, use of the resource is, uh, is we are saying like 50%, uh, 40%, or like uh, something like that. That is a bad utilization of the resource. It's uh, very difficult uh, to fix because it depends of the input of your uh, simulation. It depends of the parameters of your software, etc. So uh, there is a very uh, few uh, kinds of variables, I think. But that is a, a good example of a, a, a good use of a resource. So I can put the queue, exit, and remember to cancel the job with the job ID. So this is state CG is a uh, as uh, uh, I can put the again the command and now it's not working. It's a completing uh, state. So when I, I cancel a job, it's a state that probably uh, the Q system is writing results. Uh, so it's a, a few seconds, probably one second, and it's writing the, the result results. Uh, so we have here how to cancel the, the, the job. Uh, what other command we can use to show more information about my job? So we have this uh, command, it's control show job of ID. Let me show you. With this, with this command, we can show uh, a more detailed uh, information about our job. So you can it's see. Not H top. Sorry? It's not H top. Uh, uh, H top. HTOP. Sí. Sí. Ah. Yeah, it looks like it's a different one, right? So you have HTOP and, and S control. control. They are different commands to get different kinds of information. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this uh, command is only for uh, running jobs. And HTOP is, is more like a, a monitoring in uh, real time. Okay. So you, you can see the, the cores, the use of the core the use of memory, et cetera. Okay. So here you can see uh, information uh, about uh, your user, uh, about your account, how many uh, resources you have to run in the cluster, uh, what about the running time of the job? So you can uh, uh, watch here about the submit time, uh, about the start time, that is not the same. Probably the cluster, if the cluster is in the, 100 uh, utilization, uh, you can start your job right now, or you can send your job right now, but it's not starting uh, right now. It probably is a few hours uh, after the, the job is starting. Uh, we have here uh, about the resource. So remember, we can uh, we put only one CPU. The memory is a per default memory here. And here uh, we have a the command or the script that we are using, uh, remember about the output. That is a very uh, important thing. I can uh, put a cut in the output scene so I can show you what is the result of the stress command. Okay. So we have a H stop for monitoring the, the jobs uh, in the cluster, and we have another uh, uh, tools for uh, monitoring the, the, the cluster. I can show you the dashboard. Let me. Okay, so this is the dashboard of uh, our cluster. Uh, Right now, you can see that is 76% uh, of utilization of all, all the cluster. Uh, this is a heat map. Uh, we have uh, two clusters uh, working together. The first one is named Guacolda, and the second one is uh, Leftraru. So each of these uh, square is uh, a node or a server. 
So uh, it's a heat map. So if the if the if, the, if this one is uh, like more red, if you can see, you can uh, the percent of the utilization is uh, near of one percent. Oh, sorry, one hundred percent. The opposite of this is like a white. So you can see that is like a two percent of utilization. So in this case, this is an underutilization problem. We have a green uh, color too. It's a free node. So you can, you can see here the free nodes. And here you have the, the same. And the black is a problem with this deep node. So uh, here we can show you about the working process right now in the cluster. Uh, for example, in the slim partition, we have uh, 87 uh, tasks running right now. Uh, in the whole cluster, we have uh, 188, 81 uh, tasks running right now. And we have here uh, all the free nodes. Uh, probably this is the more important thing for you because uh, you want to know uh, what, uh, how many nodes uh, are free in the, node, in the cluster. So in the debug, uh, probably you only you you always uh, going to see like four uh, because uh, the bug is not a partition for uh, a long exercise uh, exercise or running. In the slim you have uh, sixty and uh, in, in three nodes. In the large mem you have zero, uh, and remember that large mem is the node with a big uh, amount of memory. And finally the GPOs that are only two. And in this time, it's only one node free. So this is a, a, a very good tool for uh, monitoring the cluster. Uh, remember, if I know that my work is, is or my, my task is running in the, this node, CN076, uh, I can search here the node. Let me show you. So here is the, the node. So uh, right now it is in 31% uh, of utilization. I can click here in the block and I can see uh, a graphic with the utilization. So I can view more details here. Uh, so you can see about the process, about the memory, uh, you can show uh, the last hour, the, the two last hour, uh, the last week, uh, it depends of the running time of your job. So you can see here all the monitoring about uh, your jobs. So here we have each top I, I showed you uh, before. Uh, you have the cores, you have the, the memory, the load average, that is, is an important thing. Remember that if we are working in a 20 cores uh, node, we had 20 cores here. So the load average is a uh, max uh, 20, uh, 20. You can uh, you can see here like uh, 40 or 80. You can, uh, only you can see here 20 because we don't have 21, 22 cores. We have only 20 cores. Uh, what about memory? In, 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 you know, just a yeah. question. Yeah. All this is useful in any kind of of cluster that people is going to work. Uh, what is important because uh, uh, as I as I said before, uh, in in some case, uh, let me show you an, exa an example. I can reserve uh, results like this. I, reserve, uh, I, I do a reservation with 20 cores and imagine that only I using 10. So there are 10 that are in idle uh, state. So probably I can see this in each top. It's more uh, practical. So if I enter in each top, I see that the number one core, the number seven core is in 0% of utilization. So probably I have an error in my script. So that is because uh, this H top is uh, is for it for. Uh, the other thing is about memory, uh, because uh, we are only using about uh, CPUs. We are reserving uh, uh, CPUs 
only, but what about memory? Uh, it's an important thing uh, for the phone. Uh, the memory is one gigabyte per CPU. So if, if I run in this, with this command, I reservate only one gigabyte of memory RAM. What is the problem is my, if my job is uh, using more than one gigabyte of memory RAM, probably my job is canceled. Uh, so how, uh, we can fix that problem, we can reserve more memory. And for that, we can use this uh, parameter. So we, with this parameter, we can see this. So I can reserve like, this is, in, this is in, in megabytes. So this is four gigabyte for one CPU. So pr probably imagine that you have a, a problem that is a not CPU consuming, uh, it's a memory uh, consuming. So you can put here, remember the maximum is 48 uh, gigabytes of memory RAM. It's the, it's the max in this partition. So if, if, we, if we need more memory, we can check the partition always. We can put here, uh, for example, general. And in general, we can put here 192 gigabyte of memory RAM, sorry, I, yeah. So that is the, the, the kind of thing you can use when you need more memory. So remember, for, uh, for default, always is like this. For default, always for, uh, for, for CPU is only one gigabyte of memory. That's a, a very basic uh, situation, probably. Uh, most of the jobs uh, need more one gigabyte. Uh, the next exercise is about memory. Uh, let me see the time. Ah, okay, we are okay. Uh, this exercise is uh, is about memory, and we can see here a problem with uh, underutilization of memory. So uh, we need to uh, create uh, again a script. Uh, running in the slim partition. Uh, again, we need to reserve uh, one, uh, only one core. Uh, we need to send an email uh, with the results. And finally, we need to uh, run this command. Uh, now, uh, again, we are, we are running a stress, but in this case, we are not using CPU. We are using memory. Uh, so let me show you uh, the problem. Uh, one tip, I can use this, uh, this same exercise. So probably I can uh, do a copy. Uh, if you don't know uh, how to do this, you can put uh, this, the first name. And in this case, I put C04.sh. So now I edit C04.sh and I can edit this new uh, file. Uh, a slim partition, only one core, and the command is different. So I replace this command with this. And one important thing, uh, because we are using the uh, clip generator, uh, you need to comment this line, the line about memory, because we uh, we need to so show you what is the problem if you are re no reserving or you are not doing a reservation of memory. So I can uh, comment this line, or I can delete this uh, line. And let me say the file. So let me show you, it's back again, exercise. And yeah, you can, you can see that it's running, Matias. Uh, sorry, I can cancel the last uh, exercise. Yeah, you have a, an error or what? Yes, an error. Um, can you put the error in the chat? Invalid job ID. Ah, probably you write the incorrect number of job ID. Remember that with the command SQ, you can see the your job ID. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, you can Thank copy. You. Thiago? 
Uh, hello, Eugenio. So to stop a job, I just have to write like age, top, and the number of the job. Stop a job? To stop a job. Oh, you can, no. The command is cancel. Oh, I was... It's okay. cancel and the job ID. Okay, thanks. Yeah. I don't know if you remember the last exercise. Uh, I told you about uh, stress is a command that is not stopping uh, never. Yeah, I'm kind of stuck in, in this right now. So I was trying to use H top. Yeah, that... yeah, H top is only for monitoring your job. Okay. Yeah. So in this exercise, uh, if you remember the last exercise, uh, I need to cancel the job. Uh, but uh, in this case, uh, I using uh, again a stress and it's not running right now. So uh, it's a problem. Something happened. So remember that all the jobs are generating these uh, outputs. So always when you have an error, you can see the error file and you can see this message. So remember, I comment the, the line of memory. So uh, let me show you the script again. Uh, in the stress command, the, the stress command want to use two gigabytes of memory uh, RAM. Uh, for, for, for default, uh, we are using only one gigabyte. So what is the problem? A stress in, in, in some place of the, of the running is trying to use more than one gigabyte and the, the system is cancel the job automatically. So how, we need, or how, how to fix this kind of problem? Uh, this is about memory. We need to reserve, uh, do a reservation for more memory. So in this case, I come out the S batch line. And in this case, I reserve 2.4 gigabytes. So in this case, we are okay. So let me show you again. Let me say this. And let me, yeah, it's not working. And S batch exercise four. So I don't remember how many times it's running the last time. Oh, I have so many files, sorry. But I think it's like uh, 20 seconds and it's canceled. But right now uh, I comment out the line, the, the memory the line, and I reserve it uh, two gigabytes of memory. So if you see, now it's running, it's still running. It's not canceling uh, because memory. So right now, uh, this job is running forever until I cancel with the command. But the main thing is remember, it's about a uh, memory. I do a reservation of 2.4 gigabytes of memory and my program is using two gigabytes of, of memory. So it, there is no a problem. Uh, obviously, uh, not all the programmers are, are using uh, two gigabytes of memory, but uh, imagine that this, this program is using four gigabytes and we have this reservation of memory. We have a problem again, because the program is trying to use more than 2.4 gigabytes. So again, the program is stopped. So remember, if you need more memory, you need to always do a reservation for more memory, for more memory. So probably you can put this here. So any question about memory? Uh, okay, uh, I don't remember if I can see the job. Matthias? I have a possible question. Yeah? Uh, uh, about memory. The memory is so high, uh, uh, we need uh, another partition in this, in another case, or in this case, for example, um, uh, uh, one. Uh, Ten thousands uh, of memory CP CPU. Yeah. Do you have another partition or? In this case, no. Remember that in the same partition, each each server have a forty-eight gigabyte of memory RAM. Okay. So in this program, we are only using uh, two gigabytes of memory RAM. 
is different is we are using something like this. Here we are using 200 of gigabyte of memory. So obviously this kind of, uh, of a, a simulation uh, is not a working here in this partition seems because we, had, we have only 48 uh, gigabyte. Remember in the partition general, we have 192 gigabytes. So it's a problem too. So the only uh, uh, option is use in this case. So if you remember, let me show you, this is the amount uh, enlargement. So we uh, keep, uh, have them enough memory for this kind of job. So I large man. So here is working, but in the example it's only two gigabytes of memory RAM. So uh, I told you uh, in the beginning of the presentation that one part is about the hardware and the other part is about software. Uh, probably this part of the cluster is, most, is the most important thing because uh, we can have the biggest supercomputer in the world, but uh, if we don't have the uh, optimized software, probably we can use uh, a, a the better way uh, or cluster. So in our case, we have a, a module system that is called LMOD. In this model system, we can use a very, uh, we, we have a, a lot of programs and a version of these same programs. So uh, it's important to know how to use this uh, model system because we are searching for all software. So the first command that we need to know about is how to search for software in the cluster. So for example, Imagine that you need to use a, oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, imagine that my, my simulation need a software called MATLAB. Probably you know uh, MATLAB. And you have a, your new account in the cluster, so you can search about this software. So the, let me, let me cancel this, sorry. So uh, I want to search MATLAB in the cluster. So the question is, is MATLAB in this cluster? So with the command ML spider and the software and the name of the software, in this case, MATLAB, I can uh, search in the cluster and I can see we have two versions of MATLAB. So you can see this, uh, uh, this two uh, version of MATLAB. You can do this with whatever uh, software you, you need. For example, Python have a lot of version of, of uh, Python. So the next part of this is how to use these uh, uh, models or this version. So for example, I want to use MATLAB. So for use this uh, software, I need to put this command, ML, that is a module load and the name of the software. So the name of the software is MATLAB slash the version. So now I'm, I'm running the, this, this software, MATLAB. Remember, uh, you can always search with ML, ML Spider. For example, another software named NumD. Uh, so for using, you, you can put ML and the name of the software and the version. This uh, command you need to put in the script. So imagine that you, you can use, uh, or you want to use MATLAB in your script, you need to copy this. I put exercise four, and we have here you can put here the module one. So first part is about resource, the queue system, how many resource, uh, what is the partition that we are using, how memory and uh, output logs uh, and the email. The second part is about the software that are you using for your simulation. And the last one is about the command. So remember here you can put, if, if I use in MATLAB, probably I want to put this. Uh, 
Bacalao, and I don't remember the, the line, but it's something like, something like this. So it's a, a, a three part of script, a resource, programs that are, we are using, and the command that we are uh, running. So we have the, the, five, uh, the exercise number five that uh, we are using a, a model. Uh, so we need to uh, download uh, some exercise in Python. Uh, we need to create, again, uh, another uh, uh, Tony. Uh, sorry, it's a question. Uh, yeah. Do you have a comment for, uh, to see all the programs you have in the, in the computer? Oh, yeah, yeah. For search, so yeah, yeah sorry. Uh, and this command mlab is uh, available. You can see all the, the software installed in the cluster. So we have a lot of, of uh, software. Uh, if uh, don't you don't see the the software that you need, you can always ask for us for installing because all this uh, software is not installing like an Excel uh, program. I don't know, you probably know the, the installing of a software in Windows. It's like next, next, next. Here is not the, the same kind of, of, the, of the installing. Uh, we are uh, doing some, uh, something like uh, from source. Uh, we, we need to uh, do a build compilation of the software. Uh, we put a... Uh, um, optimize flags uh, for the software. So in this case, this software uh, can use the hardware that we have uh, better, probably. So it's a, a, a more slow uh, process, but uh, the, soft, the final software uh, is running better than in another uh, platform. So we can see here all the software. So the exercise file, let me show you. Remember, we can always use a, a null script. So I can put exercise four. And now I put exercise five. So uh, let me show you. Okay, so I need to download some file. So I can copy this and in Linux, in the terminal, we have a, a very good uh, tool that is called wget, then you can download it directly. So you, you, do not, you don't need to download uh, in your browser or in your computer, you can download here uh, directly. So I can download this problem. So I, I have right now and Queen's problem three. Uh, so I create the, the script, uh, partition slim again, uh, only one core, and in this case, we need to do a reservation of a uh, 2.4 memory uh, gigabyte of memory RAM, and we need to exec execute the, the the Python code with the last version of Python uh, available in the cluster. So remember, how to search uh, a software with the command ml spider. In this case, they say me the last version available. So I can put ML spider Python, sorry. So in this case, this is the last version available. So I come back to the exercise. So I need to load the software in this part, remember. Remember the command is ML, the, non, the name of the software and the version. And finally, we need to put here the command that we are uh, running. So let me delete this. And we need to run this uh, problem. So oh, sorry. Let me copy the name. So we have uh, right now uh, probably the same of the uh, 
the, the other examples. Uh, but what is the difference here? We are using uh, Python, the last version, and we are running right now a real example or a real simulator. And the last one I think is about uh, memory. Let me read. Yeah, we need to do a reservation of 2.4 gigabyte of memory run. So we already have the reservation here and we are okay. So I can now save the script and again, as but is five s h so this is a, a very simple uh, simulation so probably is fine it's okay right now so if i can see the out file is the result i can see yeah it's a, a, a problem uh, and queen's problem in, in python so this is the result. So if you see, it's like one second of running. But the important thing here is uh, we are using right now software in the cluster. And we are uh, running a real uh, simulation. So right now you can do whatever you want, uh, uh, a simulation, probably a, a real simulation. And you can do, or you can search for whatever, uh, you want uh, probably I don't know how uh, what is the software that you, that you are using right now in your simulation, but remember the commands ML Spider, whatever you want, and uh, after this ML the name of the software. Any question in this uh, exercise? Matias Garcia. I lost in the last part. I uh, I don't know why is there. Uh, the coordinates ah um, sorry yeah yeah because uh, uh the exercise say we need to download this exercise it's a, an end queens problem in python it is an example of simulation uh, that do a end queens problem so it's a, a matrix here and is the same that if i put this so ah, I'm, okay. I'm running a, an example of uh, in python can I just compliment you? Yeah. So yeah. So not only simulations, but all kinds of analysis can be run like that. So you don't. So you for many areas you use simulations. You simulate complex problems. But in the case of genomics, you can compare sequences, search for sequences, assemble whole genomes, uh, get parts of genomes to compare, compare multiple individuals, do phylogeny, uh, annotate the genome. A lot of things you will see the other modules of the course so many kinds of analysis that require lots of computing power and lots of ram will be using these tools that Eugenio is showing yeah and another important thing is about the software you can in your account you can install whatever you want you have a permission to install in your local account whatever you want but if, uh, probably it's better that you can ask for us for installing any software uh, because our, uh, I told you before uh, about the optimization of the software, about the compiling from source, etc. Et uh, we are in time, yes. Ah, we have another question. Yes. Yes, uh, for, for example, how do you proceed to to analyze a uh, phylogenetic tree? Uh, how do you, uh, I mean, upload your alignment, for example, to the... Yeah, we'll show that in, in module three. So module three will be about evolutionary genomics. And so we'll show phylogenomics uh, as a topic and one example of software we use so you will need all these basic commands and knowing how to use Linux and how to use a server to run them. But we'll talk about the software for phylogenetics in module three. Okay, uh, that model uh, consider this uh, this cluster, for example. Yeah, it can be yeah. run on, on other servers, but it can be run on this cluster. Yeah, so we, we are oh. installing the software. Eugenio has been talking to Fernanda who is here and Enrique who are the ones who show the software and they are installing the software in their cluster. Yeah, yeah it will be quite. 
No. Sorry. Sorry, Ken. Fernanda, please. please. Uh, it's very important to you at least to try to use it and in training th this exercise because in the other modules, we are going to use this cluster, this server to run the analysis and using the, the softwares for the other other topics. Then, yeah, that's why it's quite important you learn this. Right, so these two first classes are about knowing the basic Linux commands and knowing how to use the cluster, right? And that will be useful yeah. in the subsequent classes that Dante will give in Latin on yes. Friday and then next week and then the following week. No, no, the, the, the class on Friday, it will be in your, in your computers. Okay. So, but the class about uh, genomics and how to assembly, how to annotate a genome, uh, uh, those topics uh, will run in the cluster. So that's why it's so important that you can uh, try to uh, generate these uh, text files, call it jobs, to run um, your your assemblies and your annotation in the cluster, uh, and and to get the results to your computer to analyze using Python, for example. Yeah. Antonella, you have a question? Yeah, hi. Um, just wondering about the, the out file, is that like a different from the, the out that would the software produce or, or should it match? I mean, for yeah. example, yeah. The, the, if I am running an assembly, I will have like a folder where every uh, uh, file will be stored. But that's a different file from the out. Uh, yeah, yeah. In the script. It, it depends on the software. Probably in the in basic examples, we have only out and error. But a more, more advanced example, you have uh, so many files that are the results you have in the, uh, I don't know, in what other directory you can call a results and you can put all uh, the, the results. But remember one thing, I have uh, the exercise in this directory, that is my, my root directory. So probably if you are using or you are doing, a, I don't know, a simulation one, uh, for being, uh, uh, for, for you for, for, for more, uh, I don't know, you can make a directory. So for example, you can put, uh, simulation one and this simulation you can have all your script and all your result is only here in this directory so for you it's better to work uh, like this and you have all the results uh, i know about other software that uh, are producing uh, files like h5 uh, or something like that uh, results so yeah this is only example i have only mm -hmm. this out in this error yeah, but I mean, uh, do I have to know in advance what I'm getting in the script, or or I just say like no. the the directory where the out is going? Uh, yeah, but, uh, as I as I say, if you are uh, working in this directory, you don't need to say anything in your uh, script. They uh, only uh, is writing uh, your result <laughs> here. But okay. probably in some uh, of the software, you can put a parameter that mm -hmm. you are saying, uh, I, I need to put the, the result in this directory. But by default, they always uh, copy the, the results here. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, we have half an hour. And we can talk about uh, something that is very important, is about how to use the results. Or, I remember a question, I don't know if it was Tony, that said me how much resource I need, how to put uh, the N1 or how to put the minus N or minus C, how to know about that. So the first one, as I say, is uh, read the documentation. And the second one is uh, doing some tests. Uh, in our case, uh, the first part of uh, an account in the cluster is doing a test about your software. So this is called a uh, computational uh, efficiency. Efficiently, uh, so you need you need to put uh, all your uh, data, your database, your input in your in our cluster, and you can do uh, some tests 
like this. So the first test, the, the first test probably is win with one processor. So you have the time of your uh, simulation, you have the speed up and the efficiency. So the second test that you are using is now you are not using one core, you're using four core. So you need to see how is the time uh, uh, right now. So you are doing all these tests. Probably you can uh, start with, if you know that the software is scaling better, you can start with 64 core or 100 core and you are using more core. So uh, the main uh, part of this is seeing the, the, this part, the efficiency. So uh, we are doing this, uh, this example and we are seeing here that only uh, the best part of this exercise is using like 128 uh, cores because the efficiency is over 0 0.5 that uh, we are asking for the user, uh, always uh, over uh, 1.5, uh, 0 0.5, sorry. And if you see here with uh, 500 core, uh, the efficiency is, uh, is not, uh, is, is minus thus, uh, this one. So probably this is the best simulation, sorry, this is the best simulation. We are close with, with this one, but uh, the difference is we are using the double uh, uh, results. So you can see the times. So we have uh, 74 seconds, and, we, and this one have uh, 37 seconds. So it's a difference. Uh, so this is a kind of thing that you can use, or you can uh, use in the cluster. And you can say, oh, uh, this is my simulation or my optimal simulation. Uh, I can use. Uh, 64 or 128 uh, yes, uh, cores, sorry. But you, you need to this, uh, oops, uh, you need to do this uh, test. Uh, you can see this uh, diagram is, uh, you can see the speed up here and, and the efficiency here. So you have here the processor, the speed up, and here is like the optimal process. So this is the, the, the most ba uh, basic part of the scaling. Uh, one thing about this, uh, we have a different kind of uh, accounts in our cluster. Uh, we have an uh, initial uh, cluster account. Uh, it's a ADA core uh, account. In this case, we don't need to do a, a, a scaling of the program, but if we need uh, over ADA cores, we need to be, uh, do this uh, test. Um, and I have another slide. Uh, Luis Soto have a question. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sorry. Uh, uh, I couldn't hear very well the last part is, um, you know, in which kind of problem is like a small, like recommended to, to do this kind of test? You know, because because maybe you have like a simple code, like a simple pipeline. So it's like you you maybe are spending more time doing this test instead of running to the code. You know, so it's okay. like you know which situations. Yeah, we have two two kind of of, of account. The first one is an initial account with eighty eight cores. So if you you have enough with eighty eight core for your simulation, you don't need to do this uh, this scaling time uh, test. If you need more of uh, 88 cores, you need to do this uh, scanning uh, test. So it, 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 it depends of the software. It depends of the simulation. Uh, probably parallel simulation is uh, uh, a concept that is very important because probably you can use on the cluster, you can use 400 or 500 uh, cores, but you can need to uh, do this test. OK, I got it. Yeah, thank you. OK. Uh, so we have uh, hardware, we have uh, about a, a software in the cluster, and the last one uh, is about a hard drive. All, uh, obviously, you, you need a space in the cluster uh, to save your uh, results. So uh, we add to you a, a quota, a hard drive quota. So with this command, uh, it's in Spanish, sorry, you can see 
something like that. So I have a quota of uh, 600 gigabytes uh, the utilization right now, uh, and the percent of the utilization is like uh, almost a uh, 50%. So remember, uh, it's important to have enough uh, space for your results, because if uh, I have uh, not enough space, probably my uh, simulation is running with error, or probably it's stopped or are not uh, doing some results. Uh, ah, I have a, a slide here, it's, it's hiding, uh, but it's about uh, GPUs, the use of the GPUs. Uh, we have here an example of the use of the CPU and a script, and the only difference is this one. You can check, you need to change the partition. Here is a GPUs. Uh, we have a, an, another a parameter, it's about the address or the reservation of the GPU. So in this case, we are uh, reservating only one GPU. And the last one is about the software, because the software compiled uh, for CPU is not the same uh, for the GPU. So it's a little different, but you can always use the uh, script generator. Uh, it's better for you, it's more easy, and you can copy that uh, script for whatever you want. And finally, we have here uh, some links. And I think we have like 20 minutes for question. And maybe we can talk about the exercise uh, for Friday. So ask whatever you want in these 20 minutes. Antonella. I mean, this is like a question that is like beyond the scope of the course. So we have access now because we're in the course, but how does anyone get access to the HLC uh, if we afterwards would like to run something there, we have to pay or what? Yeah, uh, a good <laughs> question. Uh, our, our cluster is, uh, is used uh, mainly uh, for uh, research, so for non-profit uses. So probably if you are a PhD, you are a, a research, you can ask us for a, a, an account. You, can, you need to uh, complete a formulary uh, with uh, some information about your thesis, your research uh, area, or whatever it uh, is. I think it's, it's a, a few questions about that. And obviously, you need to put uh, information about uh, your papers. Uh, what are you doing in the, the next years about uh, with our uh, resource? Uh, you, in, in the paper, you need to put uh, uh, or, or the name of the cluster, uh, because it's something that, in our case, uh, we need to put with this uh, information, right. and uh, we don't we don't uh, ask for money uh, mm -hmm. because we have prob uh, public resource, mm -hmm. but always is uh, a better option to do some uh, donates. Probably is the 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 better word mm -hmm. uh, because we only depends of the public uh, resource. Okay. Yeah, and you can only send a, 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 a email to the support at, uh, let me write. And let me show you. This is the formulary for ask uh, for a question, for a comment. Mm -hmm. So you, you need to read this, and I agree. And here you have to put uh, information. Thank you. The kind of the, the kind of your account initiation, uh, research enterprise, uh, the name of the project that you are working or you are researching, 
your name of the uh, principal or your boss or I don't know, um, investigation area, the, uh, I don't know, the center, the university, etc. cetera. Cool, so, thanks. Yeah. Uh, Jacqueline. Um, yeah, could you please show me the, the script for the Python one? Yeah. Uh, I don't think mine, mine ran correctly. Mm. Remember, the, the first part is always the resource. Uh, or the SQ, or, or, sorry, or the Q, the Q system. The second part is about the software, and the last one, or the last, the last part is about the running command. Eugenio, Jesse okay. is asking to repeat the exercise number five. Uh, yeah, no problem. This one. Uh, uh, any part of this exercise, or you need to uh, the whole exercise again? Uh, I couldn't, I didn't get any output. I edited the script. Yeah. Then tried to swatch exercise five and nothing. Would you have an error or no. nothing happened? Uh, wait. Yeah. Remember always see the output logs. You have an error log and you can see the, the error. No, it says submitted batch job ID number, then yeah. I enter SQ and yeah. nothing. And you have uh, uh, the files, the output files. You, uh, with the command ls, you can see all the files, or with the ls minus altr, you can see the last one here, the last one files here. Remember always uh, check these files. Uh, probably the error is that the file that you can uh, see for a problem. Eugenio, I am a little bit worried because only few people ask questions and the other are in silence. Oh, I yeah. was wondering yeah. if everyone is following. Yeah, we had like 15, I think always like 10 is asking questions. Acá en el chat de texto eh, veo que hay un problema con Tamara, así que si nos puedes comentar qué es lo que te sucede. Ah, ah, sí. Perdona, lo que pasa es que eh, copié y pegué el, um, de la, um, eh, eh, del script del de NLHPC y de, eh, hice mi tarea como una y pegué y después quería cambiarle lo, los comandos como para empezar a hacer la tarea y resulta que trato de cambiar algunas variables y no me deja la pantalla entonces no sé qué no estoy apretando para poder hacer la, las modificaciones estás con nano cierto con nano sí sí eh, lo más es que con nano es súper simple eh, tú abres nuevamente el script y editas directamente o sea por ejemplo si yo quiero borrar o cambiar acá borro y escribo general no sé qué te pasa. Yo, y no, me, no, no me deja borrar. Si no, te de, si no te deja borrar, verifica que efectivamente estés con Nano y no con otro editor como BI o BIM. No, en Nano le puse tarea superpc.sh y copié y pegué el script de la, de la página que nos recomendaste y ¿Sí? pues traté de borrar y no pude. No puedo. No sé. eh, ya, eso es raro. O sea, te diría, no sé si estamos como el tiempo que puedas compartir para ver el, mientras le contestamos otra pregunta. ¿Cómo, cómo ah, esperaré, compartir? Sí, Antonella, si quieres preguntar, entra, eh, Tamara eh, nos muestra el error. Ya. Eh, eh, es que ahora que miré el, el script, eh, Ay, sí, no, no me resultó copiar y pegar, como que no, no se me conecta el, el, el copy-paste con el x que estoy usando pa, para entrar al, yeah. al servidor. Eh, Entonces quería saber si el, el formato punto tú de, de, del, del script tengo que contar así más o menos cada guión que está en, la, en estas líneas que tienen de división 
y ponerlo exactamente igual o puede que me falte algo y, y funcione ah. igual. Ok. Esta parte, eso, la verdad es que son comentarios nomás, no es algo necesario. Es solamente lo colocamos ahora para poder separar yeah. las secciones. Lo importante es lo yeah, de arriba. Okay. Si no, ya quiero un poco china, sí. <risa> confiando todo eso. Todo lo que, todo okay. lo que parte con S-Batch es lo importante. Lo mismo el tema de encargar los programas es la parte importante yeah. y en la ejecución. Ok. Eh, y, también, y también es importante la primera línea. Y la primera línea, exactamente, que estamos diciendo que es un script de tipo batch. Claro. Gracias. Eh, no, 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 no puedo contar, ¿No pero sí ahora puedo modificar. No sé qué cosa pasó. Pero no, ah. no lo crees, gracias. Ok, genial. Eh, a ver, question, puede ser en español también. Está bien. No sé si hay más preguntas. Mientras, sin más preguntas, yo les comento, en el, en el Classroom, Uh, in the classroom, I put uh, the exercise for the Friday. It's kind of the same that we are uh, seeing in this presentation. Uh, and you need to put the exercise, uh, the results, uh, until Friday uh, uh, 4 p.m., I think. It's in Peru. Oh, no, no, sorry. Sorry, it's, uh, it's 4 or 7 p.m. I, I don't remember. I'm a little lost with the... The hours. On Friday? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. At 6, 6 p.m. in uh, But I think uh, it's 6 p.m. in Brazil and Chile, but in Peru is. Brazil yeah. and Chile, yeah. Brazil and Chile is 6 and Peru four? is 4. Four. Four. Okay. And you. Same time, same time as today and, and Monday. Yeah, the same time. And remember, if you need uh, to do ask, uh, ask a question in the classroom, uh, we are seeing the classroom every day, so we can. Uh, see and review your your problem, your results, etc. Uh, hi, hi, Eugenia. So most of the pipeline that I don't want like to parallelize something like that is not necessary to use more than one node. It's just one node and several cores, and that's it, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, that's one question. The, the second one is. Uh, so, do, do I have the like the option to install other programs and also like some modules or libraries for Python, something like that? Yeah, uh, let me show you. For example, you can uh, load Python 3.9.6, oh sorry, it's 3.9.5, yeah, and if you need to install some module of Python, you can always do install I don't know h5 pi and dot minus minus user with this command you don't need a privilege uh, or something I got it okay yeah okay Thank I you. I also have a question uh, to install our packages we have do we have permission or don't yeah, yeah, you can you can install whatever you want in your account, uh, but uh, when, when you're working alone, probably is a good solution. But in your case, for example, for the module three, uh, we need to install software for all the students. So yeah. uh, I, I can only have a prediction uh, administrative. So for, uh, for uh, work, working alone, you can install whatever you want. I see. Thank yeah, you, you have, yeah. Nelly? Yes, um, so for this example, uh, with Python in some modules, you can s install it, but it will be just in your in your user. Yeah, it's only in your user. And for that, um, we we are free to, to install and modify. Yeah, yeah, you can but install only. whatever you want and modify and remove and whatever you want. Ah, okay, okay. So, um, I don't know if you have installed like Stacks or iPyrat, and it is it's yeah, typical. Yeah. It's it's like you say, like we need to um, mejorar los parámetros to install. Yeah, optimize, oh, yeah, yeah, optimize, optimize the software. It. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
let me tell you some uh, wiki we have. But in the most case, probably we can you can install you can install all the software with uh, I don't know Conda probably I don't know if you uh, yeah. it's a it's a easy uh, tool because you don't need to put optimization flags you don't need to uh, do a build but you can always ask for us to install the software optimizer so here in the in our wiki we have installation and compilation of software so you have here uh, the basic about uh, build software uh, about the, the compilers MPI compilers you have the flags that we are using right now uh, here so you have a instruction for a processor uh, probably is a, a, a very advanced uh, documentation here but I, I we recommend always to read this uh, documentation and we have a uh, liberation of program is another uh, important thing but as i say you can always ask for us to uh, to it build a program a, it would be a good idea to put all these um, links that you sent us uh, to the um, to the chat into the classroom oh yeah yeah we we, we can uh, make a, a yeah a little, I don't know. Um, resource there with the links yeah yeah that's a good idea during the yep. class, uh, all the links uh, were uh, written in the chat. Uh, several links were written down there just to contact us, how to fill the form. Yeah, but, but pro some... probably when the, the, the meeting is stopped, yeah. it's, 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 so it's losing. I'm going to, to write down the main URL so you can contact us, visit us, and and talk with us. Uh, well, uh, I mean, they can contact all the um, uh, people, the, the, the teachers, the lecturers, through the classroom. Through the classroom, yeah, no problem. In, in the classroom, there is a spe special place where they can ask questions, because I think that questions should not be like uh, only for one person the answer, no, yeah. because this can clarify to others yeah and it's better if i ask my question and everyone can see the question and the answer yeah so that's that's why we prefer that all the questions be canalized through classroom in the in the first um, tab that yeah. says uh, i don't recall the name yeah but, but we can put yeah. with Esteban all Post the links Paris, in the classroom right? yeah yeah, no problem. We put all the links that we are putting in the chat later in the classroom. Mm -hmm. And also the questions. And I would, yeah, yeah. Questions. See, no problem. We have four minutes. <laughs> I don't know if you have I another think question. Uh, if there are no more questions, mm -hmm. um, we can finish. Yeah, remember to ask questions about the exercise for the Friday. Uh, so don't be shy and ask whatever you want. Yeah, it's a good idea to practice as much as you can during yes. the intervening days. So on Tuesday and Thursday, try to practice and do all the exercises so that you catch up and get familiarized with all the tools. Yeah, and I think uh, the last one, the last thing, probably uh, the accounts is open for all the course. So probably to April 1, you have access to the account. Do whatever you want. Don't be afraid. You are don't broken anything. Uh, so uh, exercise. Do a lot of exercise. Yeah, practice what you learned on Monday as well, and do it many times, and modify yeah. things, and try to play with it as much as possible. Yeah. Well, thank you very much to everyone then. Thank you. And see you on Friday. Thank yes. you, Eugenio. Bye. Thanks. Bye, Eugenio. Bye. 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 Bye.